And the winner of the Marie Claire Young Businesswomen's Award is Andrea Culligan. It's okay. It's probably the last thing I expected to happen today. Um, to me, this is like winning an Oscar for running a business. Um, I think, as all of you as businesswomen would understand, that uh, winning awards such as this are, are, um, are they're quite rare. And to win things like this is like standing up as Nicole Kidman without the fantastic skin. Um, and winning the Oscar. So I'm quite honoured to be in a room with so many women of such calibre. And I'd like to thank Telstra very much, and in particular for Marie Claire for promoting young women in business, because I do think we are the future of business. <laughs> um, yes, please, applaud yourself, because uh, you deserve it. Um, I arrived in Australia about 12 years ago. I am Canadian, originally, um, although my family is Australian, hence why I have a bit of a funny accent. Um, I had about 500 bucks in my pocket when I landed in Australia about 12 years ago and I, was, I had a real vision to become something much greater than I was. About two years after I landed, um, I was, throughout that two years I was doing very obscure jobs such as um, I ran a pub in Cape York, uh, which is very odd. Um, I got whale watching tours in Harvey Bay and uh, I even sung in pubs in Coober Pedy. So. <laughs> I've, I've, <laughs> I've had some pretty obscure experiences. Um, about two years after I, I stopped my interesting travels, I, I started, uh, I landed in Sydney and I started with Unimail very shortly thereafter. Ten years later, we're a multi-million dollar business nationally. We've got a strong passion for ensuring students have the ability to talk to employers um, and talk to them in the same language. However, I believe that the last 10 years of my business success is an absolute and direct collaboration of my personal success. And to clarify that, personal means me. That's me, Andrea Culligan. My business is, is separate, although it is part of me. The fortunate thing about that is, though, is that I run them exactly the same way. 10 years ago, I was overweight. I had a, a big personal self-esteem issue, and I, I needed to really change that. So I began changing my life by going out and joining sporting teams and meeting inspirational people. And wouldn't you know it, as I became better, so did my business. As time has passed, I've taken on challenges in my personal life, obviously with relationships, family, international travel, and adventure. But at the same time, the business was following a very comparable path by exploring new opportunities, directions, and strategies. I found that my strength and commitment has benefited my personal life, but in return, has had uh, the same effect on my business. Now, as cliche as it sounds, I am not Unimail, and Unimail is nothing without my team. My journey would have gone in very different directions if it weren't for the tremendous support of my work team, which is otherwise known as my away team, and my home team, which is my fabulous fiance, and my brother, who's just joined me here from Canada. Adam, thank you very much. But let me assure you that I'm not the honor student. I didn't even go to university. I don't have amazing credentials. I, I wasn't bred in a wealthy home or a wealthy family. In fact, I barely graduated from high school. I wasn't bred to travel the corporate ladder, but I was brought up in an environment of passion, determination, and enthusiasm. And over the times, these values have carried me through the highs and the lows, the challenges and the successes of my business. Have I made 100 mistakes in my personal life? Absolutely. Have I made a hundred mistakes in my business? Probably a couple of thousand. <laughs> Will I make a mistake walking out the door? Most likely. But if I do, by the time I get to the car, I'll be a better person for it. And I'd like to thank you very much for having the opportunity to be here today. Thank you.